Hey, welcome to my first video from the great state of Texas. I just took a walk this evening and the first thing that I found was the large milkweed bug. And the large milkweed bug is uh, the double black diamond of milkweed bugs if you're a skier. You can see those two black diamonds on its back. But more specifically, um, those diamonds might appear on the small milkweed bug, but on the large milkweed bug, you see that black belt going across right between the two black diamonds. And if you get too close to the large milkweed bug, it'll do some ninja moves and it'll totally avoid capture. There it goes, doing some ninja moves right there. But it's completely harmless. It doesn't even have a mouth. It has a proboscis. So all it's doing is drinking nectar right now. The bug generally feeds on milkweed sap. Not the only animal that feeds on the milkweed. Here we've got the monarch. This looks to be an instar four, a very new instar four. It's got long horns and it is feeding on the antelope horns flower as well. These flowers, they seem to be appreciated by all the insects. So this is Asclepius asperula, and I'm just off a trail in an area that hasn't been uh, hit by lawnmowers. On this particular plant right here, there was a caterpillar second instar about a week ago. However, I don't see it anymore. It's possible that that second instar wandered over and we just saw it as the fourth instar on the other plant. These two plants are only about 10 feet apart. Although this one was in full bloom about a week ago, the blooms have already faded. It's got some nice green color. There might have been an egg on that plant as well. Out in this open area, this is an area that is at risk from lawnmowers. This was just mowed about a week and a half ago, and it was happening at 8 a.m. when I was heading out for a grocery run, and I talked to the guy on the lawnmower, and I showed him where the plants were, and he mowed around them. Fortunately, this Asclepius asperula is also near some Texas blue bonnets. This is a really low plant, although it curves up at the ends. Again, a week ago, those flowers were in full bloom. They, they pop up really quickly at the exact same time that the monarchs are passing through Texas. I'm in the Austin area, if I didn't say that already. Austin, Texas. They grow in some really dry, rocky area, and they're super low growing, just above the ground. However, if the flowers are not eaten by monarchs, they'll look like antelope horns sticking up out of the grasses. Beautiful weather right now. What you don't know is that about four hours later, there's going to be a tornado watch. In the meantime, heading 30 miles an hour down this trail, and we've got another species of milkweed, which is completely different. This is Zizotes milkweed. And Zizotes grows very low to the ground as well. Right here is a plant that is about 10 inches tall. And this Zizotes plant had a monarch egg on it about four days ago. And I don't believe the leaves were chewed four days ago. So the monarch probably came out of its egg ate its egg, and then started eating the leaves. However, I don't see it right now. So it either crawled off the plant to change instars. Let's take a look. No, I don't see it there either. It either crawled off the plant to change instars, or maybe it crawled over to a third plant, which I never found. Here's the second plant. Maybe the egg was on this plant. I don't remember. Can't find them. No monarch, no egg. Uh, nothing uncommon about this. Monarchs in the wild tend to disappear at a rate of about 98%. 95 to 98% of the monarchs just don't survive in the wild. There was a third Zizotes plant, but I don't remember where it was. There, There's so many different little flowers down here. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. But thanks for taking a walk with me. It's a 